Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. I'm John, and today is that special day of the year where they finally have released the McRib Sandwich. Um, this is October 26th. This is the day, at least in my area, in Chicago, that mostly every location is now advertising and selling the McRib. Now, in other countries, they actually have variations on the McRib Sandwich. And I've tried a few of them before because a lot of the ingredients are available in other sandwiches or other ways and you just have to ask for it. That was a bacon McRib and a cheese McRib. I've tried them both together and let me tell you bacon on a McRib is very delicious. Cheese on a McRib doesn't make it worse but the cheese kind of gets lost in the barbecue sauce flavor and it doesn't really add much to it. But Recently, I found out that there's a fourth variation, and actually I've seen a fifth one, kind of, that I'll briefly describe after this. You know what? I'll, I'll describe the fifth one now. It was a pork sandwich that definitely was the McRib patty, but instead of barbecue sauce, it was a mustard horseradish sauce. And um, maybe I'll try that later, if I can figure out exactly what's in it and try to make it myself. But anyway, what I'm going to be trying today is a McRib sandwich with onion rings on top. And in Guatemala, they have four variations. The classic, the cheese, the bacon, the one they call the uh, arroz de sabalo. I think that's how you say it, arroz de sabalo. Basically means rings of onion. And they put, instead of slivered onions, they put onion rings on top. Now, as you might think, where am I going to get onion rings from McDonald's? Well, here in Chicago, at least right now, they have an overlap between a global favorite and the McRib. Now, in Chicago, we have the global headquarters of, Chicago, of uh, McDonald's, which has a rotating menu of global favorites. And one of the things they have is a Australian burger that has onion rings on top. You can also add, order the onion rings as a side. I have been monitoring the release of the McRib and their global favorites menu to hopefully have them cross over. They did. So in front of me I have a McRib and an order of onion rings. Because when I asked they wouldn't put it on there, they said there's no way for them to put it in the system that way. So I just ordered them separately. I'm going to put them on myself. Um, I did order this with extra pickles, however, under an examination, it looks like I have about two slices of pickles. That is not extra in anyone's book. Um, there's still slivered onions on here. I didn't ask for them to take it off, because at the time I wasn't really thinking that it was a replacement for the slivered onions. But, I'm going to eat it like that anyway. Uh, another caveat, this is a Guatemalan recipe that I'm using, but the onion rings are actually from Australia. And when I look at the picture online for the Guatemalan McRib, it looks more like a breaded onion ring. And in fact, uh, one of the translations of the description said it was like special bread. Um, yeah. Where was that? I saw that. Oh, yeah. Um, boneless pork rib bathed in a delicious barbecue sauce, gherkins, and onion rings breaded in special bread. And the picture does look like it's breaded, whereas these, you can see, they look more battered. Now, I could have tried to find a place that sells onion rings that has more breaded, but I think actually getting McDonald's ingredients for everything is going to be fine for this. And hopefully, it will taste similar. And I can see uh, exactly how uh, this would taste. Now, in the pictures, it looks like it has two big onion rings. So I'm going to pick the two. Actually, I'm going to do, do more than two. I'm going to put two big ones on each side. And then in the middle of each big one, I'm going to put two little ones. Just have more onion ring flavor. There you go. Put them on like that. Kind of looks like eyeballs. Put the top on. 
Now we're going to have after a brief interruption where I tell you the price. The McRib meal at the Global McDonald's was $8.98. It comes with fries and a drink, of course, and that was a medium size. A order of onion rings cost $3.89. Those were both pre-tax amounts. Now, let's get to trying it. There you go. Onion rings on the McRib. Let's try it out. Now my first thoughts here, as my camera is like out of focus, so deal with it, is that first bite of McRib of the year, thumbs up. Now the pork, the sauce, all tastes the same. Wish I had more pickles on it, but I digress. Here's what these onion rings do for the sandwich. It adds a texture, a crunch that nothing else I've had on a McRib has added before. That fried batter on the onions gives you just that slight difference in, in texture. I'll give you a close up of this where you can see the onion ring that I've been into there. Let's do it. That's the edge. But I'm scratching for that onion ring. It's pretty hard and crunchy. Mm. That bite definitely had one of the pickles in it, which elevated the experience. More onion ring bite. Mm. As far as the onion flavor, it's pretty good. I'm not sure how much difference of an onion flavor it is from the slivered onions because inside of these onion rings, they're not like caramelized. They're just a little bit sweated down. So it's not like, it's like grilled caramelized onions. But I, I taste in the, the raw one. Really the biggest flavor difference is the breading. I feel like I have both of those flavors in there. So if I were to order this again, I would not take off the slivered onions because I like the taste of the raw onion, but I also like the taste of the onion ring. Mm. Very good. Is it better than the bacon as a topping? 
I don't think so. But here's what I would do. I'm definitely going to try to try this. Bacon and the onion rings together on the McRib. You get that extra smoky, crispy bacon, and you get this crunchy cooked onion. Crispy, crunchy, oniony, smoky. It's all going to go together, and I think that's going to be perfection. Anyway. First makeup of the year. Gotta say, very tasty, as usual. You may have seen the uh, advertisements this year if you've already gone to a McDonald's saying it's the farewell tour. Well, I'm going to speak directly to McDonald's here. McDonald's. I believe it was 2001, maybe 2004. You said that this was the McRib farewell tour. That was about 20 years ago. Since then, it's come back nearly every year. I won't say nearly because I haven't looked up the history of every year, so I don't know exactly. But my experience and what I remember, it definitely came back at least the last five or six years in a row. Even pandemic year, it came out. So I don't know what this big farewell tour advertising is. Uh, what I predict is what's going to happen is they're going to take a year off. Um, so 2023, maybe there won't be a McRib in the United States. It's going to be a bummer, but I think we can all deal with one year of it and, you know, get your fix of McRib-ish things elsewhere. But 2024, it's probably going to be right back either right at back where it was normally or what I'm hoping is when they make the big triumphant McRib return they bring the global variations of the McRib to the United States and maybe even have something unique for the United States I haven't given it much thought but if I'm going to just pull an idea out of my mind right now you could definitely have the bacon one. It's the one that makes the most sense. The cheese one, it's like I said, it doesn't really add much, but it's an easy one to add. You already have those just like you already have the bacon. The onion ring one is a little bit difficult because it's a new thing. But what if you just did something that's so American? The double neck rib. You can put a piece of bread in between if you want, but I think what you, should, you just should do is just stack two McRibs on top of each other. That way, you're selling twice as much meat for every sandwich you sell. The double McRib, it's a super American thing to do. You can even put, like, the bacon between it. Free idea for you, McDonald's. It's, not, it's, it's the same product. So you don't have to worry about a new thing other than the McRib patty itself. But the double McRib, I just, off the top of my head, thought of that. Easy thing to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more information about McRibs that I know as they come. If you want to know if there's a McRib anywhere near you, go to the McRib locator. Just Google McRib locator. There's an interactive map there that'll show you exactly from where you are, where the closest confirmed sightings of McRibs are. And that's updated yearly, although, you know, around this time it is the most heavily trafficked because this is when it's coming out, at least nationally, maybe perhaps globally. But other places around the world have it sometimes at vastly different times. So if you go there, you'll find out that information um, post it on the map. Anyway, like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. So long and goodbye.